So the time we go back with another video. I'm Strange Wang and I got a bunch of Richard Pryors on my shirt. More Richard Pryors than Nate has on his shirt. And he's Nate if you didn't catch on. And we're watching another Suicide Squad trailer. Well yeah, it's PG-13. You gotta have something in there for the kids. Man, fuck them kids. Unless them kids want to follow us on social media. We have links in the description below. As well as a link to our coffee account if you would like to throw us just a little bit of money. One dollar, five dollar, ten dollars, two hundred dollars. We would appreciate it. Super villains. Sad souls in costumes. Why don't you think they're all dark and deep? What's the light? Living life is a punchline. But all it would take would be one blessed act of rebellion. Oh. We could restore our dignity in its entirety. You know the deal. Complete the mission, you get 10 years off your sentence. You fail to follow my orders in any way, and I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Love them or hate them. These are your brothers and sisters for the next few days. I thought you just keep adding people in those trailers. Yes, that is your hand. Very good. We're all gonna die. I hope so. Oh, for God's sake. If we find out any information you give us is false, you die. If we find out you have personalized license plates, you <laughs> die. What? No. I'm glad we got this trailer. Secondly, because it saved us a surprise. You know, like, you knew the F-words were coming. You knew King Shark was about to eat somebody in half. And it was just like, no. Which made this trailer even funnier. That's a reach. I can't wait for this movie. It looks great. I'm glad they're saving the uh, starfish monster for later trailers. Hopefully, they're just save it for the movie because, like, I'm pretty sure everyone knows what it is because there's probably ten thousand YouTube videos on that <laughs> already. Right. Like Suicide Squad trailer explained. Yeah, but we don't do that here. We just do reactions, and my reaction to this was very nice. Wawa wooa. I was already sold on this from the first trailer, like within the first 15 seconds of the first trailer. Yeah, that's facts. Uh, this is uh, right up my alley. I love I love this so much. Uh, it looks like they're getting a lot of things right this time, which I appreciate. I like a lot of these characters. Uh, and like, it's really just like, it's almost like, a, it kind of has the same thing going for it in a sense that uh end game had going for it in that part of the reason you're going to this is because you're going to see who dies yeah not as much yeah but it's like pete davidson's here and then the cat thing's there and then the orange chick's there and then all these other random people there michael rooker shows up with like a really bad hair dude <laughs> right and it's like who's living who's dying i don't know so the line in here was like punch lines a lot of these super villains have really cheesy bad powers who has the worst power in your opinion out of all these people the worst? the worst? Well, we didn't really get to see what everybody's, like, full power was. Yeah, but what do you... If, from the trailers. Um, I don't know. Homie, they just kind of detached his limbs a little bit. Seemed a little whack to me. Yeah. Yeah. 
Well, maybe you can take the limb off and whack you with it. Right. But to me, I don't know her name, but the chick with the rats. No. Nah, that shit is gross. It is gross, but you could fuck some shit up being able to control that many fucking rats. What is gross? You ever seen Too Fast, Too Furious? No. Where they just take one rat and then they put it on a guy's stomach and put a bucket over it and they start heating the bucket up so the rat starts to like uh, burrow into his belly to I'll try to that escape. Movie. Like, that's just one rat. Yeah, that's, that's still gross. You could do some fucked up shit with rats. I don't, I don't, fuck, with, don't, I don't fuck with any rats. Well, look, I'm not saying it's not gross. I'm just saying that's not the worst power you could have. I don't fuck with rats. I only fuck with two of them. And that's Takashi 6 9 and Master Splinter. Oh, you forgot about Joey the Rat. From Boy Meets World. <sighs> Woo! <laughs> but if you got that, tell us down in the comment section. Show us some more Boy Meets World knowledge, because apparently I need to go back and watch the show. What do you think about the Suicide Squad trailer? Who, out of all these characters, do you think has the weakest, the worst, the grossest power? Subscribe, like, hit the like button, share the video. And subscribe. It's not a game, it's a red stick.